Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of FNAF and if you're new here, please consider subscribing and also be sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you'll indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. Here is our C, looking pretty badass. And I must say, I think that her vehicular mode looks pretty nice. It definitely looks like that sleek and slender motorcycle that RC is in the Transformers Prime animated series. Definitely, it's a really nice representation of her vehicular mode. You can see it's done in a nice blue plastic. You can see some silver. And then her tires are black. She's got a black leather seat. And then... The interesting part about her windscreen, the uh, lights, and of course the mirrors is it's all done in this nice frosty light blue translucent plastic. There's not much to really talk about the vehicle mode. It looks like a motorcycle, as it should. Anyway, before we continue with the video, let's do some size comparisons with some other Transformers Prime figures we have. For size comparison, here is our C next to Starscream. Here she is next to Soundwave. Here she is next to Megatron. Here she is next to Predaking. And last but certainly not least, just for fun, here is RC as she appears in the Transformers Prime animated series, next to RC as she appears in concept art for the Transformers 2007 movie. <laughs> Yeah. And here she is in her robot mode, looking like she's ready to kick some con ass. And yeah, I'd say this is a very solid representation of the character. You can see she's got a crest, the light piping's pretty good. And she's got her robot breasts there. Very sleek. You know, we, we should have more female robots in Transformers. The only ones that we know of are Alita 1, and Chromnia, and RC. Like, and the rest of them are all dudes. How do they reproduce? Do they even reproduce at all? So many questions. So little time. <laughs> anyway, so here's RC looking pretty cool. Um, looks like she's got some wings going on, which is interesting. Um, obviously, her tires fold up into her back, which is pretty cool. Um, for articulation, her hands can rotate. 360 degrees on both sides. They rotate 360 degrees. They can move forward and move back that far. Again, on the other side, move forward and back that far. She does have rotation at her hands. Not that cool. And then her backpack can move and be adjusted to your liking. Her head can do the exorcist. Yep, it can do the exorcist. They can move up and down that far. Her legs move out that far. They move back that far. She has a a um, kick that high. Again, kicks that high. And you know that's that's about it for her articulation in a in robot mode. Um, it does look pretty cool. Obviously, the colors are all pretty much the same, just black, silver, and blue. But nonetheless, it's still a pretty solid representation of RC as seen in Transformers Prime. The interesting thing that I, 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 I noticed about the series is that it would seem that Transformers Prime, instead of making Optimus Prime the main character, actually made RC the female character. So I guess you could say that RC was the female lead of that Transformers series, considering in most other iterations of the, of the series, it was either Optimus Prime or Bumblebee who was like the main character. But in this series, RC was kind of the main character of the series, the main Transformer character. But nonetheless, she is still looks pretty cool. Um, the tire looks pretty weird on the back, but just looking at her from the front, it's a pretty solid representation of RC from Transformers Prime. She does come with an accessory, which we'll uh, showcase right now. Okay, and so she comes with this scythe weapon, which attaches to her 
forearm, and this is completely accurate to show. I mean, in the show, it was a little bit smaller to confiscate with her size. I doubt that uh, RC would want to be uh, walking around with this big, huge scythe of death on her arm. Um, but, you know, it's it, it's an occupational hazard for these kind of toys. It, it's just a good thing that we actually did get this weapon for her, since she does actually wield it in the show. And I noticed that a lot of the Transformers toy lines just make up shit that looks cool. But here we have actually something that appears in the show, which is nice. Um, outside of it being way too big compared to the weapon that she had in the show, it's still pretty nice. Definitely, I absolutely love this representation of RC. And with that being said, let's do some size comparisons with RC and some other Transformers figures. For size comparison, here is RC next to Starscream. Here she is next to Soundwave. Here she is next to Megatron. Here she is next to Predaking. And again, just for the mere fun of it, here she is next to her 2007 Transformers movie concept art design. I absolutely love this RC. It looks beautiful. It looks exactly like RC from the Transformers Prime TV series. And I think that this is your definite version of the character in action figure form. There's a lot of different RCs, but in scale with some of the other Transformers Prime figures, I think that this is your go-to figure because she's a smaller figure and scales well next to some of the other more larger Autobots in the Transformers Prime collection. And in the end, I think she looks great next to other Transformers from the Transformers Prime television series. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Do take care. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys in the next video.